Part 2. Professional Perspectives on Forced Marriage What makes these forced marriages? Forced marriage is a marriage which is entered into without the full and free consent of both of the parties involved. A forced marriage is when somebody is coerced into marriage. Um, it's not their choice to get married or to marry that person, but it's not their choice to get married at all. For somebody with a learning disability, it might be that, they're, that they don't have the capacity to consent to be married. Forced marriage could be quite a misleading term for families because very often, uh, sometimes, uh, families will say, well, our, our, our child isn't being forced to marry, they're wanting to, to, to consent to marriage. And that's where the issue of uh, capacity is important because um, it's important that families understand if a person lacks capacity, then technically, in, in, in UK law, it's a, a forced marriage. Can people with learning disabilities consent to marriage? People with learning disabilities can consent to marriage, yes, and we would very much support people um, with learning disabilities to marry where they have the capacity to consent. It all depends upon the level of the learning disability and the level of their understanding, because ultimately that's what we're interested in. Do they understand what marriage means? Do they understand what it involves? Understanding that marriage is something more than a wedding ceremony, that they've got the ability to weigh up the consequences, thinking about what does it mean to be married. Do they understand that marriage can involve sexual relationships, that it's intended to last for the rest of their lives, ideally, that there are issues around property and their ownership of property, and various other legal implications of being married and consequences of that. Are they able to weigh that up? Are they able to think about the pros and cons of getting married? And are they able to communicate the decision that they've made? So for instance, sometimes I will meet people with learning disabilities who may actually know what they want to wear, what they want to eat. And on appearance, it may look like that actually they have capacity because they know how to make day-to-day -day choices. But actually, if I was to ask them, what is a marriage? And if they were say to me, oh, it's having a party or it's going on holiday, then I would have alarm bells ringing. And that's where uh, a forced marriage comes in and it's, it's very much done for the protection of, of the person with learning disabilities um, because there are cases where the, the person with a learning disability who is, who is married and doesn't understand enough about marriage um, can experience uh, quite abusive relationships in a, in a context in which they, they, they lack control. Why is forced marriage against the law? When a family arranges a marriage for somebody that doesn't have the capacity to consent, the law says that that's a forced marriage. And that's because the person isn't entering into the marriage fully understanding what it is that they're going to be expected to do. They don't understand what the marriage relationship is all about. Often families wouldn't see this as a forced marriage because they're making a decision that they think is uh, the best decision for their son or daughter. Forced marriage is against the law in part because the United Kingdom has international obligations under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And that stresses that the right to marry is central to how a person feels about themselves, about their sense of dignity, and about their ability to make choices about how they live their life and who they share their lives with. And so the law is there to try and support individuals' own choices and their ability to choose. It could be deemed uh, as a human rights uh, abuse. It can be deemed in the, the terms of domestic abuse because somebody's been forced to do something against their will. They might not have the capacity to understand what's happening. It could lead to physical, potentially to physical violence or emotional coercion. When you go further, it's really about protecting people who are vulnerable. So it's part of safeguarding. Um, it's really important to have effective laws that protect people. The outcomes could be um, conviction in the eyes of the law, which could, could involve um, imprisonment potentially. Why don't people recognise that forced marriage is illegal? People might not recognise that forced marriage is illegal because if they're in a family, they, they may have always thought their son or daughter or, or brother or sister will always get married and that that's the thing that has to happen. People might believe that um, their son or daughter marrying someone 
will result in the effects of a learning disability being diminished because this person will now be able to to get on and, and, and do things and might have a family and, and, and perhaps the, the, there might be a belief that the learning disability will, will, will go down, will go away, which unfortunately isn't the case and, and this, learning disabilities aren't, aren't uh, uh, healed by, by marriage. Often they are trying to help the person that they are trying to arrange the marriage for. They may do it for reasons of protection. They may be worried about what will happen to their son or daughter or relative after they die. They may believe that the best way to protect them and care for them is to arrange a marriage partner. The difficulty is that that doesn't recognise the rights of the person who is going to be entered into the marriage to make a choice. And more particularly, it doesn't recognise that some people simply can't make that choice because they don't have sufficient understanding. Sometimes families will say to me, I'm the next of kin and they think that they can make life-changing decisions on behalf of the young person. Sometimes families will say to me, Mandy, I'm the appointee, and I'll say, that means nothing. If I have a power of attorney, and I have to say to them, that's about managing finances, that's around medical treatment, it does not give you the right to make life-changing decisions on somebody's behalf, and especially around marriage. Nobody can consent on somebody else's behalf. Now watch part three to find out what motivates people to arrange a forced marriage and the consequences.